Hey, hey, it's my, oof, it's my dark episode, my, uh, my, uh, goals for this weekend, which is going to be a busy weekend. Um, it's a whole bunch of things. Let's get them all wrapped up into one thing for today. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I finished reading The Great Gatsby out loud today, which was a lot of fun and really rewarding. Um, lots of notes, lots of thoughts. Um, you know, I think it's one, one of those things of just like, would I still enjoy The Great Gatsby? Is The Great Gatsby one of these things that's just so omnipresent that it doesn't mean anything anymore? And uh, I would say no, no. And I will guess I'll do a review to that effect. Um, I'm almost finished with the franchise. Uh, basically just cut probably some denouement to do. Um, another interesting book, an interesting book of, of how it views young females, um, females in general, um, class stuff, uh, the changing time when it was written post World War II, kind of the collapse of, um, a ruling class and these up, these kind of, you know, especially the young, the young women being kind of a sign of like changing, change of gender and of class kind of constraints on, on people. And that, you know, kind of just general threat there really a lot of tie-ins with, um, reading, uh, the little stranger by Sarah Waters, which is how I came to this, how I came to the franchise by Josephine Tay in the first place. So it's like, yeah, really really rewarding read that way. Definitely a book that's talking to another book that's talking to me. Um, I, uh, yeah, done all that. I'm gonna, I went to work and work went well and smoothly, which is nice. Um, I, the booktube spin, um, has been a really great thing because I've I've watched a lot of other people's videos and actually left comments on a lot of other people's videos and sort of had more interactions this week. Who knows? Maybe I'm slowly becoming less of a freak and more of a person who can actually kind of just interact with people in a safe place with certain limitations. And I mean, the booktube spin thing that Rick McDonald has come up with is really great because you can kind of comment on people's, on people's, um, book stuff, um, in a kind of a non-threatening way. It's like, there's lots of books to talk about and yes, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So, um, and it's been kind of a nice way of, 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 yeah, just touching base with a lot of different people and a lot of people that I also, I know already. So that is, that is good. Uh, especially, especially since there's whole different people who are doing, well, not some of them aren't even different people who are doing the book two prize thing, which I'm just completely, it's just beyond me, uh, the amount of reading and all that stuff. Maybe someday when I'm retired and have lots of time, <laughs> I will do that. And I can only, I'm, I'm, I'm crippled and can only, you know, read in bed. And that is all I can ever do with my life ever again. So probably never. So yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying there. Uh, my, my reading capacity would not be able to do that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So things are going along. The big things for this weekend are, yes, I want to do, see if I can, for fun, do a uh, booktube spin reaction thing because tomorrow or probably today, really, uh, Rick will be releasing what number of his 1 to 20 uh, will be the book that you've picked of 1 to 20 that you'll be reading in February, March. And depending on the size of the book, I will need both February and the March to do it. And uh, that's one of the reasons why it's like, oh good, I'm finishing The Great Gatsby, I'm finishing the franchise, I'm only going to have audiobooks, I have only audiobooks other than that, so I will be able to focus entirely on what could be a giant chunker of a book or, you know, could be just a regular book. In which case I might roll the dice and literally roll a 20 sided dice and pick another book off of that pile uh, to do for March. We shall, we shall see, we shall see how it goes. That would make for a good chunkster thing. Um, because Mar March is the March of the mammoth. So that would be good. Um, what else? What else? And so, yes, it is, 
January the 31st tomorrow. So I want to do a wrap up kind of assessment of how did I do in January with my goals and uh, stuff like that. Um, been a little bit less on the to-do list for the last week, I would say. Um, but done some of it. So I just want to keep on, keep on keeping on with that. Uh, and I also want to make sure I kind of have a, th have a thing for, um, February of what are my goals for February and to also kind of try and nail down, I think a bit better, my meta goals, which I've also kind of left lax. So this is, this is a good thing. This is a part of the, the structure of this thing supporting me is to check in each month, uh, to check in each month and then to kind of restate or to, to refresh what my goals are going forward for the next month. Um, so that's all good. Um, and yes, and you know, do the laundry, um, get the grocery shopping, do some bulk cooks, um, figure out, uh, the COVID documentation I need for the COVID money that I can potentially access, which everyone else is accessing. So I should, uh, now that I've put it in and they want documentation back, I need to go get all the documentation together, which means finding Janine's tax return, which may be Zsa's tax return, which we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, yeah, we're definitely, we fall well, well under the economic um, bar, well, well underneath the economic bar for to, to qualify for it. So I should really get that money because yeah, we, we will always definitely need money is a nice thing. Money is a nice thing when bits, the house are falling bits part. Um, and so, yes, that I think is my weekend full, full, but full of fun stuff, full of fun stuff and interesting stuff. I'm going to do a review of make notes and do a review of the water dancer. Um, try and keep up with all my reviews. I did a review of, um, that's the other thing I did today. God, I even forgot about that. I did a review of a run me to earth, which I wasn't that thrilled with, even though it was quite a well-written book. I just wasn't a book that, as I've said on this channel, didn't really just didn't strike me. So I did a review of that. Of course I did it with shaky cam. So that's annoying, but, uh, the, that's the only review I'm going to do of it. If it's too annoying, I just won't release it in public and people will just have to, you know, you know, survive through the world without knowing what my eh reaction is to uh, Run Me to Earth by Paul Yoon. All right, I will leave it there. We're going to go upstairs, finish off the franchise by Josephine Tay and have a snack. Sounds good, Shira? Sounds good to her. She likes sitting on my lap and trying to huddle for warmth. Oh, poor little doodle. All right, more videos later. <laughs> Am I getting my ear cleaned?